All right, this is my hill up here. And I'm gonna give you guys some news. Really cool news, really good news. But uh, I'm gonna try to stay out of the frame, okay? I'm gonna look like an idiot, but I don't care. Uh, see what we can see while I'm talking. So, there we go, that should work. All right, so, just got an email today. Very exciting email from a guy named Danny. Um, we hope to have him on. Um, he's going to come on on the podcast. We're going to interview him. But uh, he's a hunter. He's got a family member that he hunts with that owns property. And they've had a lot of very cool activity on this property. And the thing about it is, it's very, very close to the happy place. Not the same county, but it's close. Uh, very recent activity. And uh, Danny himself has had a Class A sighting. Uh, it was in another location, but I'm going to let him go into all the detail, okay? Um, I don't want to tell his story for him. But uh, one of the incidents involved with one of his family members and another family member while they're hunting at night is freaking wild. Um, this is exactly the kind of stuff that we're looking for. The type of property with the exact type of activity. Um, and we're hoping we're going to be able to get together with these guys. Um, let them tell their stories also in person and hopefully check this property out. Uh, you remember when you were about eight years old, uh, Christmas Eve, remember how excited you were? That's me right now. Uh, super stoked about this. Um, I talked to him on the phone. I believe him 100%. Uh, I mean, you can even, you know, you can, uh, he didn't like break down and start crying or anything, but you can feel the emotion when he tells the story. You know, you can tell this hat really happened to him, these events. Uh, really nice guy, uh, really enjoy talking to him. Uh, and, you know, hopefully this will turn into, you know, who knows, maybe we got some more hunters, future team members, you never know. But uh, if nothing else, we really wanna get out there and uh, look at the property uh, with his family members' permission, of course. You know, if not just having the stories, having them tell their stories, I still have to talk to the other family member. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, uh, we're going to handle it any way they want. They can be on camera. They can not be on camera. When we do the interview, it can just be their voice. Whatever they want to do, and that option is open for everyone. Um, the information and the experience. Like I've talked about before, after Happy Harris came forward, uh, I think three, if not four other people that he knew heard the podcast, heard his story, and told Happy about their experiences. And that's what we're looking for. Um, get some answers, man. Uh, you know, I love, this is what I love. You know, starting from beginning to end, you got activity, you got really good activity. Um, I don't want to give it away, but Happy Harris-ish activity, if you know his story. Um, but anyway, that's cool. Uh, looking forward to that. Uh, let you guys know when we get everything set up. Angie has also been talking to another gentleman. Um, I'll let her go into detail about him. Uh, I believe, I know the sighting was in Georgia, but this man also had a sighting, Class A sighting. Um, and he's looking to uh, hopefully get on with a group. My understanding is that he's looking to get out and start looking for these things himself. Um, Angie talked to him, though, so uh, she'll be able to, you know, fill you in on all the particulars. 
Uh, we also have a gentleman by the name of uh, Richard coming on. He is a researcher. Now, Richard reached out to me a while back to see if I wanted to be on another con um, podcast. Pretty much out of the blue, uh, basically saying that I guess he, he kept up with our group's research and uh, he suggested me to another individual, got me on the podcast. Real nice dude, uh, down to earth. Um, he's got some wild experiences we're going to have him on. So we're looking at two, if not three, really good podcasts that are coming up. Uh, Captain Joe's still working on the... Uh, the I guess I could say it the NRA board member we got a story from an individual um, really good one but he's still working on that but uh, that's what we got coming up so super exciting stuff again I know I look ridiculous right now but I don't care I'm hoping that something will get curious and wonder why in the hell I'm laying on the ground see what happens but uh, I will talk to you guys later